Hi, my name is Danny Watt, and today I'm going to be telling you guys all about how I got my pastel pink hair. Hi, today I'm just filming a really quick video just to talk to you guys about how I got my pastel pink hair and the steps that you need to take if you want to achieve a similar kind of look. So basically, I decided to film this video as soon as I had first dyed my hair just so I'd get a really nice representation of what the color does look like as soon as it's done. But knowing my luck, as soon as I started to record, the camera battery died, so I'm now filming about a week later. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and leave the clip in that I did get, which was just pretty much an intro, just so you can see the true color that your hair does go as soon as it's been dyed. Right now, this is about uh, one week since I've dyed my hair. So if you're interested in seeing how to achieve this look and what the steps involved are, then keep watching. I've been wanting to dye my hair pastel pink for a really, really, really long time. I just thought it's a super fun color to go, but I didn't want anything permanent. I just wanted something that would come out in a few washes. I get a full head of foils at my hairdresser, um, just blonde foils in every couple of months. And I have done for a, about a couple of years now. I don't think I'll ever go dark again just because it is so hard to get your hair back to that nice blonde color and I just love being blonde. But kind of just wanted to change it up a little bit. If you guys are wanting to dye your hair a pastel color, you'll first need to bleach or lighten your hair. It won't really work if you've got brown or black hair, possibly um, darker blonde hair, but pretty much the lighter your hair color is, the easier it is for the color to take to your hair and the brighter the color is going to turn out. My hair's pretty much just like a light blonde color, not super platinum or anything. Um, it's quite just neutral tone to warm tone probably. It wasn't too ashy or anything. So firstly I went ahead and picked up this which is the Manic Panic Cotton Candy Pink Hair Dye and this one is semi-permanent. It's also vegan which is super super cool. That means it really doesn't do any damage at all to your hair. It also says it glows under black light which I guess is kind of cool. I don't know why you wanted to do that but that's something that it does. The one that I got is the Amplified Formula and this Manic Panic Formula is supposed to last up to 30% more than the original one which I was a little bit concerned about because going pink for the first time I didn't really want my hair anything too crazy or too bright and I was quite worried that I wouldn't be able to wash it out and I did not want pink hair um, for a really long period of time by any means. I had heard that the Manic Panic, especially in the pink one, is um really bad at kind of lasting for a long time apparently it washes out only after like two washes or something and people aren't very impressed with the staying power of it but I wasn't too worried about that as I just wanted to kind of give it a go and it was a bit of a, a, a little bit it was a bit of an experiment, didn't really know how it was going to work out or how bright it was, so I was okay with that. As you can see from the bottle, it's not a crazy, crazy bright pink, but um, it's still pretty intense. So what you want to go ahead and do when you're dyeing your hair pastel pink is you can either pick up a color like this, which is cotton candy pink, or you can go for something like just any of the bright hot pinks will still be okay. You just have to dilute it more. So what you want to do is you want to get a big bottle of conditioner, it has to be a white conditioner, just any conditioner will do. Um, I'll insert a photo of the conditioner and the mixing bowl and all the like utensils and stuff that I use now. So yeah, the really cool thing about dyeing your hair this way is you can pretty much get it any colour you want, just depending on how much you want to dilute it. I'm using almost a full bottle of conditioner, probably about three quarters of it. And then what you want to go ahead and do is get your dye. And what I really like about this one is it's a, uh, is this like a pump? For, no, like a, I don't know what kind of bottle, what kind of bottle do you call this? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I'm having a moment here. Um, yeah, well, not like the tube ones, but yeah, just the ones you can squirt out just at the top there. It's really, really convenient. Squirt a couple of drops into your mixing bowl, which I just picked up a, like, hairdresser's mixing bowl and brush from a beauty supply store and you just want to keep putting in little squirts and mix with your tint brush and just build it up slowly you don't want to put like the whole entire bottle in or it might be like way too bright for what you're wanting go slowly and just keep mixing it until you kind of get your desired pastel pink color when I was doing this I was like freaking out because I didn't want it to go like really really bright pink so I was only putting like the tiniest bit in at a time and it took me like forever. I just had to man up and just squirt it in and everything was fine in the end. It's usually best to dye your hair um, 
not once you've freshly washed it, maybe like one or a couple of days after you've first washed it. Dye just always seems to take to hair a lot better when it's a little bit dirty. So I just went into my bathroom and basically the easiest method is just to part your hair. Then what you want to try, try to do is just get your tint brush and kind of just coat the roots of your hair. And then you just want to get a comb or something and just lift up one section, kind of like that. Go to the next one and do the roots there and so on. Once you've done your roots, you kind of just want to work the products into the ends of your hair. Um, and what I found that was quite good to do is I actually mixed a little bit more of my color, my hair color, into um, the formula for the ends of my hair because the ends of your hair tend to, I don't know, personally they don't take to color as easily as the top of my hair for some reason. So I actually found it easier to make the mixture just a little bit brighter, just a little bit less diluted with the conditioner. And also you want to make sure the ends are um, not really saturated in too much conditioner or water or anything like that. And you can just dry them off a little bit if they have got a bit of conditioner through them. And what this will do is just give you a more amplified, brighter kind of appearance on the ends. When I was trying to dye my hair pink, at the start I was just going so, so carefully just painting on every little piece perfectly and freaking out but honestly by the end you just get over it it's just such a mission as long as you've got it blended throughout your hair evenly that's the main goal so I kind of ended up just doing my roots this side this side and then I just work it through the ends and kind of just really just mush it all in and just coat it through with my fingers to make sure every part was even and if you need to you can get a friend to help you out just to do the back of your hair it can be a little bit hard to see um, and yeah for the most part I tried to get most of the color uh, just on kind of this part of my hair as well as this side as I don't really tie my hair up too often so I wasn't as worried about the underneath okay so now that you've got your pink hair dye on what you want to do is you want to put your hair up in a bun so it's kind of out of the way so all I did was kind of put my hair up like this and I just did like a really loose bun up the top there and tied it up and then what I did which is actually a really good trick is to put your shower cap on if you have one otherwise you can just use glad wrap just kind of wrap it around your head and what that will do is kind of just lock the heat in and help the color to spread over your hair more evenly and that'll also kind of yeah like as I said um, just heat up your head a little bit and that just helps with the development of the color on the bottle here it says that you want to leave it on for about 30 minutes also what you can do is use a hairdryer if you want to and kind of just blow it all over your hair with the um with the hair cap hair net what is it called um shower cap on and that would just like activate the heat a little bit more to get the color process working more quickly i left mine on for probably about an hour with this stuff it doesn't really matter you can't like ruin your hair or like bleach or anything like that since it is vegan it doesn't damage your hair at all so yeah just as long as you leave it in for at least half an hour you should be sweet after your 30 minutes is up you want to go ahead and jump in the shower and wash off all your hair dye Jump out of the shower and you want to dry your hair off blow dry it if you want i as soon as i got out of the shower i was just so excited and i just ran for the hair dryer and just started drying it like crazy i just really wanted to see what the color looked like so when i saw the final result it was really really nice i was freaking out about it going like bright ass pink and it was not happening so that was that was a relief but i did find as it wasn't quite as bright as i was probably wanting i think i maybe diluted it with conditioner just a little bit too much the day after I dyed my hair pink I decided to do it again so I pretty much repeated the exact same process and I just used a little less conditioner to get a slightly stronger result. I'm still super happy with it. I've washed my hair a few times and it hasn't faded very much yet which I'm quite surprised about because apparently pink is supposed to fade so much faster than any other colour or maybe the 30% longer with this amplified formula does actually work. Oh and just another thing, the first time I dyed my hair 
with this I probably used about one third of the bottle the second time I used another third so there's about one third of this bottle left now so yeah I'd say it lasts about three uses which yeah I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay in my hair before it all washes out but um it's looking like at least if easily a few weeks. I would really re recommend the Manic Panic hair dye for anyone wanting to go pastel pink. The only downside is, is it was quite expensive here in New Zealand for this bottle. It was $35 I believe, which is quite a lot. I think you can get it online like a lot cheaper, like $10 or $15, although I'm not sure if they ship to New Zealand. If you're wanting to dye your hair pink is kind of a long term thing, I'm not sure if this would be the best dye for you since it's supposed to be semi permanent hair colour, it's not supposed to last as long, but if you just want to dye your hair for like a fun like event or a festival or just like a, just change it up for a couple of weeks and I think this is perfect. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!